Hey people, um, some people need in their math class to know what the rule of four is. I don't use that, I have not actually heard of this very often in my math, <laughs> what do you, my math lifetime, but it is out there and some people ask. Um, the rule of four is when you can explain something in mathematically in words, just like you see right here, we're going to read this example together then we're going to also show it as a graph, as a table of values, and lastly we'll also show it as an equation, okay? So we're gonna read this situation, which is the words part, and then we're gonna use the rule of four to express this relation in three other ways. So in this situation it's about a math tutor charging fifteen dollars just to get to your house. Wow! So that's the starting amount. It's fifteen dollars no matter what, and every hour is fifty dollars more. That is pretty expensive. Wow! So, if you have zero hours with the tutor but they do come to your house, you're gonna still be charged fifteen dollars. Okay, I'll graph that right here at the same time. So at zero hours, you're gonna be charged fifteen dollars. Now where is that? It's approximately right here. It's a little bit above the zero. Now, if, you, if the tutor comes for one hour, well, that's going to be $15 plus another 50. So that's going to be $65. So let's graph that down here. For one hour, it's going to cost $65, somewhere in here. And if they come for two hours to your house, it's going to cost you another $50 added on to this. That's a big bill. $115 for two hours. So somewhere over here. Okay, and let's just, let's say three hours, that's a heck of a long time for a math tutor to be at your house. You're probably going to want them to be to leave. So let's stop there, but the next amount of money, plus if it's your parents paying for it, it would be way too expensive. $165, my goodness. So for three hours, that'd be $165. I don't know. I'm just going to, this, this graph is not very well done, but it is a straight line. It's supposed to be a straight line. And it's kind of moving up this direction like this, okay? Um, it's a terrible line. That's a terrible looking graph. But the, the purpose of this video was just to say, we represented this situation with words, a table of values, which is this thing right here, okay? A graph, which is this thing right here, and lastly, we're going to do an equation to this. Now an equation, hmm, we could say that the cost is how much per hour? Well, it's $50 per hour. So it's $50 for each hour. But there's an added on amount for the travel. So we're going to add $15 at the beginning. So it starts at $15 and it works up at the rate of $50 per hour. This is our slope, but that's, that's, a, a, that's a topic for another video. In this video, all you have to know is what the rule of four is and what that means. Hopefully that's all, and hopefully you're good from here. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.